just I just came from the gym. That's a new gym that I'm going to. Actually, what's today? Today is uh, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So today is May 5th. Um, I just came from the gym and my heart rate uh, watch is still high. I'm waiting until it's like to its regular zone for me to stop it. And I, for some reason today, I had a really good workout. All I wanted to do, my plan was, is to do abs, minor, not really a major ab workout, uh, some abs and back. And for some reason, while I'm doing, the, while in the middle of the exercise, I had some major uh, pump and I ended up doing more than I anticipated. I even did arm, forearm, um, and I did exactly what I wanted to do, back and uh, abs. So now I'm at home eating my post-workout. I'm having chicken, uh, some mixed vegetable with, uh, I think it's uh, spinach, and some white rice. And for my pre-workout, I had this morning, uh, my weight was 122. I had a cup of coffee and I had uh, one slice of oatmeal cookies and uh, uh, and a slice of uh, what is it uh, whole wheat bread with peanut butter and jelly just one slice and that's all I had before I uh, work out I didn't take any actually I had some leftover juice uh, orange juice when I open it. Uh, it, it left in my I left it in my book bag in my bag and when I open it it go pew, and there's like steam coming out I was like I'm not gonna drink that so um, and all I did between workout is just drink water so I don't know where that energy came from but it was there so I utilize it and uh, but anyway the reason for this video is right after I came from the gym I went to the supermarket to buy some stuff and as I'm walking back I'm thinking about a couple things that's going on in my life right now and one of them I'm just gonna touch I'm not really gonna go too deep in it but um, there will be another video that will focus on it and the other the video for this it will be for meal um, in terms of what you eat and things like that. I'm not a nutritionist, but I'm just, because I, the other day I saw one of my friends from my old gym and uh, at the new gym also, and we were talking, when are we going to work out again? And she sort of brush, brush it off. She said, oh, I want to start with cardio first. Um, I want to ease myself into doing some exercises before she work out with me because I tend to do most a little bit in high intensity kind of workout like triple uh, superset so but when I work out with her I usually reduce my uh, my intensity um, just to make her feel comfortable but she doesn't want to I'm not gonna force her it's not a big deal but that's what this video will be about the video that I will be making later on it has to do with gym membership it, I have two videos I believe like back in December and I think I um, I titled it uh, no gym membership no problem where I did my workout in my living room and I did a pretty good um, I had a very good pump so apparently I did not have a contract with that gym for some reason they didn't give me the contract to sign but things started to pop up and I got fed up and I said I want to cancel, I want my money back. So this, the next video, it will be about that to explain to some people how contracts is very important, especially with gems. You have to look into your state, see what the law required for you to cancel membership. It is very important because it really focus on how to get out of it but I'm not gonna talk about it because it's going to court 
they're trying to fool me and mess with me, it's going to cut all the way. They already want to settle. I said no. It's going to cut. Every time I talk about that, I'm really pissed about it. I'm really upset. But now, I'm going to leave that. Uh, there's one guy I follow on YouTube. His name is... I'll try to put his uh, link of his uh, a link of his uh, YouTube channel on the description box, and a link of a video that he made that so I'm sort of relating to him right now. His name, I believe, is Scott Herman. He I think he lives in Boston. He has that Boston accent. Um, so there's one video I remember back. Could have been early this year, 2016, around January. He made a video about a gym that he used to go to and he worked um, at. And something happened where he was so fed up where he, you know, he switched gym. And things started annoying him where he actually named the gym that really pisses him off. So right now, I'm in Scott Herman position right now. So I'm going to... I'm gonna try to put the link of his YouTube channel, or if I can, if I find his video, I'm gonna link it also on the description box. But that's it with this. I'm not gonna talk about it because it's going to court. Now, in terms of this video, um, when I met my friend, um, we used to work out at the old gym. I I saw her. I saw her. I think on Monday at the new gym, and uh, we were talking about you know fitness and all this stuff um okay my watch sort of right now is still high but i'm gonna keep it still um we were talking about working out and she was giving me if she's looking at it yes that's you uh, she was giving me a lot of excuses for not working out with me and she wanted to just do cardio so i said fine so some of the excuses that she was giving me was in terms of uh, how she uh, uh, was feeling and all those stuff. And when I mentioned how big her butt got um, and how out of shape she is, so I sort of, she named all the excuses. <laughs> She's going to call me and say, why did I say that? But I'm not going to mention her name. Um, she gave me all the excuses in the book. So I told her, how was your diet? Have you been eating right? The question mark, the light bulb just popped up and she was like, oh my God, no, I haven't. I've been sitting, eating, you know, on the couch, eating popcorn, chips, and this, and maybe not popcorn, but whatever. She just mentioned a couple of stuff that, you know, not very healthy. But she normally eats healthy. So I told her she will have to, you know, clean up her diet and start getting back into shape. So, because I'm eating right now and I wanted to show you, show her pretty much um, what I'm eating. So I'm eating some uh, baked chicken, white rice, and some mixed vegetable with spinach. That's my post-workout meal. And... Um, Another thing I wanted to say is that when you eat clean, something happened to me the past couple, last month and this month. Someone gave me a gift certificate to a restaurant around my neighborhood. She gave it to me, I think, since December for Christmas. So I never had a chance to go out and eat. So when my sister-in-law decided to take the kids for a weekend, so my boyfriend and I, the kid's father, we decided to go and use the gift certificate. So I ordered a burger and some buffalo wings and I think the burger came with uh, fries and stuff like that. Um, the chicken is good. I, I didn't have any problem. I eat it as an appetizer, um, the buffalo wings. And when the meal come, the burger, right after I finished ate it, I was not feeling well. I wanted to throw up. It's not that it didn't taste good. My uh, my uh, my boyfriend says uh, um, maybe I ate it too fast. I this and I that. And I was like, no, I don't think I was eating it fast. 
because I had eaten the, it's not like I was hungry because I ate the buffalo wings prior. So it's not because I was eating it fast. And I, you know, I sort of take his word for it. So I was like, okay, maybe I did. So I brush it off. So this past Sunday, we went to my nephew's uh, birthday party. And they had different type of food and things like that. So since that lawsuit been getting into me, I've lost a lot of weight. So I didn't need to lose weight to go to that party. Usually that's what I do when I'm going to my family. I'll lose weight week, two weeks prior and so I could eat the food that they have. So I don't have to worry about watching what I eat. So I was already, right now I'm 122. This morning I'm 122. Around that party, let me see, I think I was 120.5, let me see, 27, yeah, I think I was around 120, 119, you know, I was already, my regular weight is 135 and 130, so around 119, 120 is like pretty much anorexic for me right now, but now I'm starting to bring it back up because I'm starting to feel good about the the lawsuit but anyway so I was already out of uh, I was I lost some weight already going to the birthday party so I felt comfortable to eat I didn't go crazy don't get me wrong I didn't go crazy and eat everything that they have so I yeah my watch it's now it's back the heart weight is back to its uh, normal state so I'm gonna pause it and then when I'm done I'm gonna input it in the computer um so like I said, I was already, uh, I lost some weight already. So when I got to the party, I was, I picked certain food to eat. As soon as I finished eat the food, I wanted to throw up my butt. I actually, I tried to mango with everybody and I felt so scared. I didn't want to throw up on anybody. It's not like the food didn't taste good. I believe my system, I clean up my diet, my system, my body can no longer take those type of food anymore. So two times it happened, it's not like I was eating fast like my boyfriend told me when I went to the restaurant. So my diet is kind of clean, so those type of food doesn't go with me anymore. So for instance, the rice that I'm eating is just plain rice, just boiled, no salt, no nothing. My chicken, I put a little bit of seasoning, not, no salt. The, season, uh, the salt is within the seasoning. And if you can see the uh, red part is cayenne pepper. I like some spice. And, he, and my uh, mixed vegetable is, uh, you know, what is it, Goya. So the salt will be coming from Goya. And that's Sazon. And uh, what is it, onions and um, garlic. So... And I cook it with olive oil, so my diet is clean. So now, every time I go to someone out, um, someone's party or something like that, I have to really watch what I eat because my I might throw up in there, and I, um, you know, on them during the party, and that would be really gross. So I have to watch what I eat, so um, I don't feel the same way. So I'm gonna just show you when I came from the gym what I bought. And uh, my house is a mess because I have no time to clean anything. My focus has been on that lawsuit. I'm going to come back to the food. But I'm just going to take a moment and show some of the stuff that I have. You know. So as you can see, these are my whey proteins. I don't even use protein that much anymore. I only use them when I'm making my oatmeal cookies. And I just shove a couple... Uh, scoop into my oatmeal cookies and I have the cookies uh, pre-workout and post-workout so the I don't even now I've gotten the the system what works for me I realize I don't really need all those stuff so I buy it but it's just for when I'm making the cookies to have and as you can see these are uh, you know for my kids juice for my kids and there's the olive oil we we bought at Costco and these are the orange juice that I drink during workout and these are some breads for my kids and um, goldfish 
so actually these I bought over the weekend so these been there for a while but this is what I bought today I bought some um, banana you know I'm gonna leave it for a while see if the kids will eat it and if they don't eat it before it even if it goes bad I'm gonna use it to make my oatmeal cookies and I bought some uh, what is that lettuce and some extra bananas that I bought and eggs were on sale for 99 cents so I bought two I already have tons of uh, eggs in the fridge so and there's uh, avocado they were on sale three for um, I, oh, this is good. I'm going to eat this right now. It's kind of soft. I'm going to eat that with my meal. I bought three avocados for $1.99. And there's some string beans. And I like to eat string beans. And I have some cabbage. The cabbage is for... I could mix the... Stir fry them with, uh, with the uh, string beans. And I bought some... There it is. That's usually my pre-workout if I don't have oatmeal cookies. I bought uh, whole wheat bread and I'll have it with uh, uh, peanut butter and sometimes I throw the jelly. So one slice will do it for me as a pre-workout. And these are some juice uh, nectar when I make a shake and I will throw it in there. And as you can see my fridge is full with uh, eggs and I have egg whites these are from the party Ch candies I have to hide them from the kids some of them are gonna go in the garbage but the chocolates are there for them and I have egg whites for myself I have a couple of them back there and I use 2% milk there's some egg um, eggs my kids love eggs so Ah, I almost dropped the eggs. And uh, this is cheesecake for them. Junior's cheesecake. This is the rice. There was some leftover rice uh, from the party they told us to take. Um, I decided, you know, I bought it home, but I'm not going to be eating it because it doesn't go with me. Let me pause this so I could open it. So this is the rice. You know, the... I guess fry it with different stuff. It looks healthy, but it doesn't go with me anymore. It doesn't look, um, it doesn't go with me. So there's the rice. I'm not even going to bother eating it. So I had some avocados. It went bad. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to make uh, oatmeal cookies out of it. Once I open it, I'm going to see how it looks. Maybe I could, uh, you know, I'm just going to make uh, cookies out of it. And this is the vegetables that I have. I made a good amount. Okay, I have some leftover for later. And this is the chicken that I made. I think I made it a couple of days ago. So I baked it. This is the chicken that I have on my plate. I'm going to eat on a few. So my system is pretty clean. And most of these food, the spice, they don't go with me anymore. I can't eat them anymore. See, the cheesecake, my kids and my and their dads love that I don't even eat it it's there but it's not for me so, all right so to end the video pretty much you really have to watch what you eat and you know the main thing is your diet and once your system is clean most of the time when you go back to your old ways your body is gonna reject it so that's what I realized uh, what happened to me twice and I don't need a third time for me to actually throw up on somebody during a party so I learned my lesson. I just have to watch what I eat. Um, if there's, if the way that they cook it, there's too many things mixed together, it's not for me um, because I know I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna go well with me. So your diet is number one. And for those people who's trying to, uh, for the lawsuit. And you're blaming me for some reason. I don't know what the hell my contract has to do with YouTube. But you guys are saying that, uh, well, I don't know. But it seems like you're telling me I'm making videos uh, to teach people. Well, if I have some information that I think I could, that could help somebody, I think I should put it out there. If I fell on something, don't you think 
um, you know, if I don't want somebody to go through it, I think it's good to share that information. So my videos are nonsense. They ask me question how I look. Most of those people, they knew how I look when I started going to the gym. So they wanted to know what did I do to get where I am now. So most of my videos doesn't even explain anything. I just type some stuff. I didn't even want to talk um, about the videos. I just type some stuff. But when they start asking me more questions, and I started doing some voiceovers, and uh, and all I did was put the camera and record what I did. They asked me what I, how did I get to this shape? I just record my workout. This is what I did to get where I am. And I talk about my food. So if that is somewhat uh, a threat to you, I don't know. Because they don't really have to watch my video. They could watch tons of other professionals who is really better than me, than my silly, stupid videos. So you guys have a problem if you think my YouTube videos is a threat to your business. Okay? It's, this is really pissing me off when I'm starting to talk about it. There we go. My heart, I paused the thing. My heart rate went up again. So, anyway. I had to look at this video before I, <laughs> I upload it because I'm a little bit pissed right now. So, this is for my friend. Um, and I hope this video helps somebody. And then there will be another video where I talk about contract. And I think... If now that fitness is uh, become very popular, thanks to Arno, who you know make making the word putting the words out for people to, he's been doing it for a while. So this is becoming a bit more trend, and those young people who thinks they're just gonna go to a, a facility. And you know they tell you one thing, and you sign your name, and then you realize. You know, it's something for life that you didn't even tell you about. Contracts are very important, especially with gyms, with fit, uh, fitness facilities. Once that lawsuit is over, I will explain to people what's going on with, uh, with my situation, how important it is to know your right so they don't scare the bullshit out of you thinking that you have no right, okay? That's it with this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So I decided to put record the input. Let's see. Let's start from the beginning. So I did 3 hours, 8 minutes, and 20 seconds. So I'm going to put that here. And some of them is walking from the supermarket. 3 hours. Three hours. Where is it? Eight minutes and twenty-eight seconds. Okay, so that's that. Oh, today is uh, Cinco de Mayo. Let's see. Five. And this actually was 88 when I came up. Okay. So now I'm going to put... Let's see. My average heart rate was 122. Average heart rate, 122. And the next one is... focus my highest heart rate wow was 204 so I have to put that 204 next and the amount of calories I burnt today just from going there focus 988 988 and the next one how long I was in my heart rate zone I was there for 12 minutes and 31 seconds. 12, 31. And what's next? My training time, okay. Oh, I did it. That's it. Something is missing. 
let's go back I'm using the camera and doing that there's a percentage that's missing oh I didn't end it that's the thing I need to end it yes I'm still gonna get the same result but there's a the hot way zone I need that to import it but I have to end the the workout so my highest HR I already put that to a four 988 calories I burned I was in my heart rate yeah that's the NHR zone okay two hours okay two hours five minutes and 52 seconds okay see I had to end it I didn't do that is two hours five minutes and 53 seconds all right and H R zone two hours five minutes fifty second and the next one is the N H R zone sixty seven percent sixty seven and the next one is that's it now to get the the starting time now I start doing that because of something now um to get the starting time I have to end this the watch because it doesn't give you once you end it so I have to end the watch there it is I ended that I was on training now I'm gonna go to uh, memory that's how I get the time that I started so once I go to memory and I'm gonna say yes and now do I want the total value of the week I don't want that and I want for today which is 5516 see this is what I put here 5516 2016 and uh, oh I went back I don't want the total value I want my training time that's the memory for today so I'm gonna go start I don't enter so it's gonna tell me what time I started my workout I started at 901 a.m. So now I start putting that for one specific reason. So my starting time today was at 9, 9 a.m. But I'm going to put the exact time though. 9.01 a.m. Bam. I like to put it in bold. And then I center it. And there it is that's my today's workout and yesterday's workout I did abs and legs I only burned uh, 354 calories and I started at 1014 and then on the second I did chest which was at night that's when I saw her I wasn't supposed to go there that night I went in the morning to do all of that then I got a phone call that pissed me off and I decided to stop because when your mind is not there you probably you gonna if you dare to lift weight you probably gonna mess up something so I decided to stop my workout and see I had started at 9 10 a.m. and I was doing so good I burned 632 calories in just one hour and 48 minutes and then I got that phone call I was pissed I left and came back at night to finish the workout and uh, I did chest that was on Monday I was supposed to do chest and then I did it and I burned another 355 calories and I had started at 7.58 p.m. That's when I saw my friend. Um, we talk about uh, when we're gonna work out again and she was giving me all those excuses. So pretty much, there it is. I hope you like this video.